Hello everybody. Welcome to the class. Konnichiwa. Well, in our previous classes we have been doing a lot of things in Japanese and in our last class we did adjectives. We learned some adjectives and we did I adjectives if you remember. Well, today also we will continue doing I adjectives with some new things. But before that, as we always do, we will just go over the uh, assignments that I had given you in your previous class. So, let us see what the assignments are and you can check. Fill in the blanks with appropriate adjectives. So, well now you can check. Ringo wa akai desu. Pinocchio no hana wa nagai desu. Pinocchio is this fairy tale character with a very long nose. Watashi no inu wa shiroi desu. Sora wa aoi desu. Kusa wa midori desu. Mikan wa orange desu. Michiko san no mei wa ookii desu. Aoi desu. Zou san wa ookii desu. Ari san wa chisai desu. So well, you can just check what you have done. Then we have fill in the blanks with kanji characters. We have done a lot of kanji characters. So, this is just a, this is just revision. So, it is not only what we have done in our previous lesson. Well, futsuka wa yasumi desu and you have second over here. Tanaka san wa mainichi jinja e ikimasu. Bus wa ichiji ni kimashita. Nanji ni nemasu ka. Natsu yasumi wa nan nichi kan desu ka. Natsu yasumi wa roku gatsu to shichi gatsu desu. Yasumi ni nani wo shimasu ka? Zou san wa ookii desu. Ari san wa chisai desu. Write hiragana, katakana for kanji characters and words in column A. So, you have in the beginning Yasumi, Yasumi, Natsu, Natsu, Boshi, Boshi, Chisai, Chisai, Tomato, Tomato. Kuroi, kuroi. Shiroi, shiroi. Hana, hana. Oki, oki. Ground, ground. So, please do your hiragana and katakana revision properly, practice properly. Choose the correct reading for the kanji characters given below. We have kuchi in the beginning. So, it is all in green kuchi. It is a normal sound kuchi. Hidari, hidari. Ashi, Ashi, 
ਤੇ ਹਨ ਹਾਚੀ ਰੋਕੂ ਹਿਆਕੂ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਇਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟ ਰੇਮੋਨ ਤੋ ਜੂਸ ਵਾ ਨਾਨੀ ਇਰੋ ਦੇਸ ਕਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੋਜ਼ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਕਲਰਸ ਓਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਪਾਰਟਿਕਲ ਤੋ ਤੋ ਮੀਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਕੀਰੋਇ ਮੁਰਾਸਾਕੀ ਸ਼ਿਰੋਇ ਕੁਰੋਇ ਅਕਾਈ so well by now i'm sure all your colors are all right with you you remember all your colors now there was a small conversation for you in the previous uh, lesson this is the conversation you can now read the conversation and then try to see if these questions you have answered properly as they are not very difficult i don't think we need to go over them you can just do it on your own as you have the conversation right in front of you now in our last lesson in one of the previous lessons we have done nan nin imaska how to count people so the question you look at look at a group of people look at a picture where a lot of people are present and you say nan nin imaska you want to ask how many people are there so well let us see what is there in this we have a picture for you over here there are two people so well what will you say futari imas that two people are present now we have another picture over here you have done this earlier as well there is no one over here so you will ask nan nin imasu ka but when you look at the picture you know that no one is there so this question is not correct so what will you say you will say heya ni dare ka imasu ka is someone in the room and the answer would be dare mo imasen because there is no one present over here so instead of saying nan nin imasu ka because no one is there so naturally you cannot use nin you will say dare ka which means someone or anyone dare ka imasu ka is someone over there dare mo imasen there is no one over there so you can practice this over here dareka is a noun meaning someone or anyone and soko ni dareka imasu yo someone seems to be over there and dareka imasu ka is someone over there so you can use dareka like this you can ask if someone is present or not now we will do our adjectives as i had told you i adjectives again in class today listen to this radio conversation and let us see how much you understand senshu no nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka senshu no nichiyobi ni neha san no kekkon kinenbi no party ga arimashita watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni soko e ikimashita so desu ka party wa doko deshita ka kaaji continental ni arimashita oki hotel desu ne Rao san ni aimashita ka? Ie, Rao san wa kimasen deshita. Kumar san wa kimashita ka? Hai kimashita yo. Oku san to issu ni kimashita. So desu ka. So well, now I'll read it for you and explain. A san to B san no kaiwa between two people. 先週の日曜日にどこへ行きましたか
先週の日曜日に、ネハさんの結婚記念日のパーティーがありました。私は友達と一緒にそこへ行きました。そうですか。パーティーはどこでしたかタージコンティネンタルにありました。大きいホテルですね。ラオさんに会いましたかいいえ、ラオさんは来ませんでした。コマールさんは来ましたかはい、来ましたよ。奥さんと一緒に来ました。そうですか。So there are a lot of new words over here. For example, you have 一緒に in blue. Then you have 大きいホテルに会いました。And 来ませんでした。Most of it, I am sure, is understood. To ishoni, we will do later. Oki, as you already know, is big. We did it last time. And hoteru is hotel. Kimasen deshita is did not come. Ni aimashita is meet. Or as is given over here, Rao san ni aimashita ka. Did you meet Rao san? An aimashita verb. Will always take particle ni. So, well, now the explanation of this is given over here in this dialogue in English. And please remember that when you are going through this, this is not an exact translation of what is there in Roman. This is what you would actually say in English when you are talking. So, this is. Not word to word translation of the Roman. So now I will explain. We will do I adjectives as I had said. Adjectives are k e o s h i So we can practice some adjectives in the beginning. You can see them here. Atsui. Nagai. You can repeat after me. Takai, Hayai, Tsuyoi, Samui, Tanoshi, Kurai. 明るい弱い。You can go through it. Now, look at these pictures and tell me what it is. Well, this polar bear is feeling very hot over here. So, a t s u i des. a t s u i des. Let us see what it is. a t s u i Then we have. An aeroplane, hikoki. So, hayai, hayai. Rayon, rayon is very strong. So, tsuyoi, tsuyoi. Hayai is fast, quick, also early sometimes. There is a mountain and a small boy over there. So, well, what is it? Takai. Takai as in height, and takai also is expensive. Something is very, very expensive. Now, someone on this bullet train over here on Shinkansen. Shinkansen is very, very fast. So, one thing you could use is hayai, which we have already done, and another. Adjective we could use is nagai. As I told you last time, nagai is something which is long or lengthy. Then we have Tanaka san or Mariko san enjoying the music. So, Tanoshi. Tanoshi is actually happy or glad. 
feeling good, tanoshi. And then someone is all wearing a coat, feeling very cold, shivering. So, we have samui. So, you have so many adjectives over here, new adjectives. You could repeat after me once, atsui, samui, tanoshi, hayai, nagai, tsuyoi. Takai. So, well, please say it out aloud. Now, we have some more adjectives for you. Well, someone very thin like Popeye and that is Hosoi as in shape, Hosoi as in structure. Then we have what does this look like? Futoi. So, you can see the contrast over here. This is thin, these lines are thin and this is thick. So, futoi is thick, not like this, this is a contrast opposite hosoi and futoi is over then we have Nezumi chan. Nezumi is a rat and what is with the rat? Yowai. Yowai is weak. Then we have people, girls happily laughing, smiling that is Ureshi. Ureshi is happy. Now, people are working here probably in a school or in an office. So, isogashi, isogashi, working busy. Then we have it is night time, you can see moon and stars. So, it is dark, kurai, kurai. And then we have akarui. Akaru is nice and bright or this could also be atsui, hot. So, these are some adjectives for you, I adjectives all ending in I you will see. Now, there was a word ishoni in the kaiva, ishoni means together with as is given. A wa B to isho ni place A ikimasu. A san wa B san to isho ni place A ikimasu. Ikimasu. Tanaka san wa san wa Mariko san to isho ni market to depart mise restaurant koen e iki mas so e san is going with B san to the restaurant, mise, department store, koen, any place. So, A san wa B san to isho ni place A ikimasu. Please remember that it is a it is a good good uh, expression to use. For example, it is given over here A wa B to isho ni A ga o mimasu. Watashi wa Watashi wa Tanaka san to isho ni ega o mi ma shita. 
I saw a film with Tanaka-san. So, you can use it like this, to isho ni. A wa B to isho ni, picnic e ikimasu. I will go with B for a picnic. Watashi wa kodomo to isho ni, koen e ikimasu. I will go with the children to the park. So, you can use isho ni like this, it is a good thing to know. Now, listen to this radio conversation between Arun and Rao and we will do something new with this. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne, doko e ikimasu ka? Furui jinja wa dou desu ka? Furui jinja desu ka? Ano ne, soko no koen wa hiroi desu yo, so shite soba wa oishi desu. あ、そうですか。じゃあ何時に行きますか。こっから遠いですから、朝8時頃は大丈夫ですか。はい、大丈夫ですよ。そして駅前の店で美味しいケーキを買いましょう。ケーキの店でそこのケーキは美味しいです。はい、そうしましょう。じゃあ明日8時ね。はい。Well, how much did you understand? Were you able to catch some adjectives here, I adjectives? I will read it out now and explain whatever is new. Arun san to Rao san. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? I am sure this much is understood. Furui jinja wa dou desu ka? How about an old temple? Furui jinja desu ka? Why do you want to go to a furui jinja? Ano ne. If you remember we did this expression ano. Ano is when you are trying to tell about something, trying to attract someone's attention or trying to talk about something. Then you will use ano ne. Ano ne, soko no koen wa hiroi desu yo. It is very, very big and huge and spacious. So shite, soba wa oishi desu. Now, soba over here is not a locational noun, it is a dish. It is a very popular dish in Japan, and uh, the Japanese love having soba. It is dry as well as in a soup. So, soba wa oishi desu. It is very, very tasty. Ah, so desu ka? Ja nanji ni ikimasu ka? Koko kara toi desu kara asa hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka? Koko kara is from here. It is very, very far. So, hachiji goro around 8 o'clock wa daijobu desu ka? Hai, daijobu desu yo. So, shite. 駅前の店で美味しいケーキを買いましょう。Let's buy tasty cakes from delicious cakes from this small shop in front of the station. ケーキの店でそこのケーキは美味しいです。Among the bakery shops, this bakery shop has very tasty cakes. はい、そうしましょう。Let's do that. じゃあ、明日8時ね。はい。So, this is the conversation. Now, we'll practice what all is there in the conversation. There are quite a few new things. You have some I adjectives which we just did. Then you have kara, which is a new way of using kara. Kara you know of course, but this is a new way, method of using kara. And then we have particle de. You have done particle de. But this usage is again new. So, we will just do it very, very quickly over here. Now, look at the pictures and ask your friends where they will go on Sunday. So, you can see the picture over here. Well, this is a picture of a jinja of a temple, Japanese temple. Yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Furui jinja e ikimashou. 
Then we have this picture over here and again the question is yasumi no hi ni doko e kimasu ka? Some people are watching a film. So well, atarashi ega wo mimashou ka? Shall we go and see the new film? So these are simple ways of practicing ikimasho your I adjectives and asking questions doing simple dialogue. Now we have yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? As the previous question, omoshiroi tokoro e ikimasu. So where are you going on a holiday? Well, I am going to a very very interesting place. So now what you can do is you can replace omoshiroi over here with atarashi which is another I adjective meaning new, urusai means um, making a lot of noise which is noisy and the noise sound is not very pleasant to the ear. Making lot of noise is urusai or disturbing is urusai. Toi, far. So you can replace omoshiroi here with atarashi, urusai or toi or any other adjective and then you can put whatever you want for tokoro. You could place mise, school, gakko that is, toshokan, anything. So yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Atarashi dipato e ikimasu. Urusai basho e ikimasen. So you would not want to go to a place which is very noisy and crowded. So urusai basho e ikimasen. Yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Toi tokoro e ikimasho. Let's go to a very very far away place. So this is how you can just practice your uh, I adjectives with different vocabulary that you have done. Now, natsu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Well, if you are going somewhere, then you can say America e ikimasu or Europa e ikimasu. But if you do not want to go anywhere, then doko e mo ikimasen. Doko e mo ikimasen. So please remember that with doko e mo, verb is always in the negative. Always you will use a negative verb. Doko e mo ikimasen. Over here for natsu yasumi, you can replace yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Nichi yobi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Or fuyu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Fuyu is winter. Fuyu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? So if you want to go somewhere, you can say agra e ikimasu or tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu or America e ikimasu, Europa e ikimasu, toshokan e ikimasu, any place e ikimasu. But if you do not want to go anywhere, then you would say doko e mo ikimasen. I do not want to go anywhere. I will not go anywhere. Doko e mo ikimasen. Now, we had this uh, sentence over there in the conversation among the bakery shops, this has the most uh, delicious cakes. So well, among a certain group, within a certain group. So make a list of questions using I adjectives and ask your friends what they have to say. Well, kudamono de oishi fruits wa nan desu ka? So within the group of kudamono, within the group of fruits, which is the most tasty fruits wa nan desu ka? If you like ringo, ringo desu. 
So, for example, you can practice like this. Over here, the sentence is Kuda mono de oishi furu su wa nan des ka. So, over here, this day. They is different, usage of they is different. You have done with transport, mode of transport, what mode of transport you would use to go to a certain place. Kuruma de ikimasho, kuruma de ikimashoka, kuruma de ikimaska. So, over here it is a little different. Within this group of kudamono, kudamono is a group, yasai, yasai de oishi yasai wa nan desu ka. Sports de. Sports, sports is sports. Sports no naka de. Sports de. Within sports. Omoshiroi. Wa nan desu ka. Omoshiroi. Sports wa nan desu ka. So, iro no naka de. You can also use iro. You have done iro. Iro no naka de omoshiroi iro or suki iro, suki na iro wa nan desu ka. So, you can use any of these within a certain group. What do you, what is good or what is bad, what you find interesting, what you like, you can use it in this manner. Now, over here you have some groups instead of kudamono, you can use, you can ask for terebi. Kurasu, kaisha, kuni. Terebi is television. Terebi de omoshiroi bangumi. Bangumi is a serial. Terebi de omoshiroi bangumi wa nan desu ka. So, whatever the name of the bangumi, whatever bangumi you like, you can name it. Kurasu de urusai gakusei wa dare desu ka. Because we are using person over here, this gakusei over here, it cannot be nan, it has to be dare. For bangumi, because it is a thing, well, we can say nan desu ka. Then, kaisha de isogashi hito wa dare desu ka. Again, because it is hito, we have to use dare. Then, kuni de. Oki machi wa nan desu ka. So, kuni is country, oki is big and machi is town or city. So, you can use any of these with de, meaning within a certain group. Now, you can see that uh, this is the explanation given over here. For example, yasai de oishi yasai wa nan desu ka or sports de omoshiroi sports wa nan desu ka. So, you can practice like this. It means in, within, among a group or a category, showing a group or a category. Well, in the dialogue, we had another usage of de, which is again new for you. Now, this de shows, specifies, indicates action at a certain place or a location. For example, wata shi tachi wa. Kurasu de benkyo shi mas. Now, what are we doing over here? We are all studying Japanese, and where are we studying? We are studying in the class. So, there is something happening, some activity is happening at this place. So, watashi tachi wa kurasu de benkyo shi mas. Now, you will say, why not ni over here? This is a little different. Because with ni, you show, indicate 
presence. So, watashi tachi wa kurasu ni imasu. We are present over here, but what is the activity we are doing? We are studying. So, we are studying in the class. Watashi tachi wa kurasu de benkyo shimasu. Please remember with de it is action at a place and with ni it is presence at that point or location. Now, there was another uh, new way of using kara in the dialogue. Over here it is given kara, koko kara toi desu kara, asa hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka. Koko kara means from here, toi desu, it is far. Thus, asa hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka. So, with kara you can see over here we have two kara together in a sentence. Koko kara. Toi des kara. So, this is the kara what we are going to do now. This kara you have already done from this point or place, is not it? From this place. So, koko kara toi des, it is far. Thus, therefore, thus, therefore, and a reason is going to come. This is the reason and what is going to follow is what you actually want to say. So, over here is given koko kara toi desu kara hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka? Is 8 o'clock all right with you? Hai daijobu desu. So, kara is a particle and it indicates reason or cause. It is equivalent to so because therefore in English. You can see the example over here toi desu kara hachiji ni ikimashou. It is far, so let us leave at 8 o'clock. And kyo wa isogashi desu kara ashita ikimasu. Because I am busy today, I will go tomorrow. So, please, there are two karas over here. One kara is from a certain time to a certain time and from a certain place to a certain place. And now, this kara over here indicates reason for doing a certain activity. So, always remember the reason is going to come first and the activity later. Because of this reason, I am going to do this. That is how it is going to be used in Japanese. Now, practice time expressions with adjectives and verbs. Different adjectives, different time expressions, different nouns, different verbs. You have this example over here. Kesa nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi gohan wo tabemashita. So, kesa can be replaced with kino, kino no ban, yoru. Kino nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi cutlets wo tabemashita. Kino no ban nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi pizza o tabemashita. Yoru nani o tabemashita ka? Oishi spaghetti o tabemashita. So, you can replace and use these time expressions with different nouns and practice simple conversation. Now, practice time expressions once again with different verbs. Kesa nani o tabemashita ka? Oishi gohan o tabemashita. Kino nani o tabemashita ka? Or kino nani o nomimashita ka? Atsui milk o nomimashita. Atsui kocha o nomimashita. Sumetai milk o nomimashita. Sumetai is cold as in touch. Sumetai milk o nomimashita. Asa nani o nomimashita ka? Atatakai soup o nomimashita. Atatakai is nice and warm, nice and hot. So, when it is cold, if you have something really warm and hot, it feels good. That is 
atata kai and soup if it is nice and warm and hot then only you enjoy it so well yoru nani o shimashita ka omoshiroi ega o mimashita so with another verb you can use a different adjective noun and again do some conversation so yoru nani o shimashita ka omoshiroi ega o mimashita so different verbs you can use and practice see it's it's being done again and again for you to remember the nouns the verbs the adjectives the structure of the sentence and do simple conversation once you are ready with this simple conversation then it's easy to do long conversation also but you have to be first confident with these small dialogues practice adjectives with nouns kesa nani o nomimashita ka oishi juice o nomimashita we just did this in the previous slide so now what should come with milk let us see what milk o nomimashita ka sumetai milk o nomimashita and kocha what should come with kocha well tell me what should come with kocha hai atsui kocha o nomimashita if it's nice and hot then it tastes good and with soup atatakai soup o nomimashita now practice adjectives with different verbs yoru nani o shimashita ka omoshiroi shousetsu o yomimashita shousetsu is a novel so novels are omoshiroi or they are boring which is sumaranai so omoshiroi shousetsu o yomimashita you can remove this over here and also use sumaranai with another noun sumaranai rombun sumaranai is a boring thesis sumaranai rombun o yomimashita omoshiroi hon interesting book o yomimashita omoshiroi eiga o mimashita so whatever you are using you have to keep in mind that the verb is to be used accordingly you have to remember what verb to use with which word when to use what verb or which verb now we have been doing all of this practice over here i think we should do some hiragana as well we have been doing hiragana for our in our past lessons so today we will do ta now you can see the stroke order very clearly 1 2 3 and 4 and how it is made please remember from left to right most of the time very rarely from right to left in fact almost zero sometimes it goes from bottom to top but most of the time it is from top to bottom hi ta chi su and it is t s u please su te and to so you can see how clearly it is done now you have all of them right in front of you ta chi su te and to please 
write it down, learn it and practice. I will just write it down for you once over here on the board. Ta chi su te and to. So, please remember ta chi su te and to. Now, some kanji characters. These kanji characters are a little, little difficult I would say, but because you know the word it will be easy to remember. So, the first one is kuroi. I will make it for you over here kuroi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, it is an 11 stroke character like this ku ro i. Once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. It is an 11 stroke character. Please remember kuroi. Then we have akai for you over here. Akai. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven stroke character. And then we have Aoi. We have Aoi over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I will draw it once again. Akai. And Aoi. Aoi. Please remember this is a stroke order. When you look at these characters automatically you will know what it means. Kuroi, Akai, Aoi. Once again for you. Kuroi. Akai and Aoi. So, please remember these are these three colors that we have done today. Now, some more I adjectives we have. Furui, Ureshi, Isogashi, Kurai, Akarui, Futoi. Hosoi, Urusai, Sumetai, Atatakai, Sumaranai, Muzukashi. So, all the meanings are given over here. It is given in hiragana as well. So, you can just go through the hiragana and the meanings and practice out aloud. Now, we 
it's your time to work. I have your assignments ready for you. You have lot of work to do at home. So, the first assignment is look at the pictures over here and practice your adjectives. Takai, atarashi, oishi, shiroi. And the conversation is nani o kaimasu ka? Use the adjective and use it with these nouns. Then the second uh, assignment is match A with B, match group A with group B. So, you have the colors over here in group A and you have the meanings given over here. You have to match which one is which. Then write hiragana or katakana characters for the words given below. There are these words here and you have to write the hiragana on the right side. Now, the fourth assignment is look at the pictures below and fill in the blanks with kanji characters. We have been doing kanji characters, these are simple characters, not only the ones we have done in this lesson, but also in our previous lessons. So, you can look at the pictures and try to see what you have to write over here. Now, you can write verbs in proper form please. The meanings are given over here. What I want you to write is given over here, over here. Please write the verb form in the blank spaces. Look at the pictures and make sentences using I adjectives. So, these are the pictures given. Please try to make good sentences using all the adjectives that we have studied and I think that is quite a bit for today. Lot of new things we have done, lot of new adjectives we have learnt and lot of new particles we have done. So, try to revise that at home, try to do it out loudly, practice with your partner and we will meet in our next lesson. また会いましょう。ありがとう。